Hey guys, it's Brie, and the first thing I wanted to say is I have officially been making YouTube videos for one year today. <laughs> so I am so excited, and I wanted to say thank you. Thank you, thank you to everyone who watches my videos, to everyone who has subscribed, everyone who's left little comments or sent in suggestions. Thank you so much. I love making videos. I love YouTube. It has just been a complete blast and such an awesome year, so thank you. One of my viewers sent in a suggestion to do a Brie-esque tutorial on my perfect summer outfit. So basically what I'm going to do is build perfect summer outfit for you from top to bottom. So let's get started. The first thing I just want to say, I know how I've hated on American Eagle, but they've had some pretty snazzy things recently. The first thing, I have wanted a summer dress, a perfect long summer dress for about three years, but the problem is they don't really make long summery dresses for short people, which is totally a gripe of mine, but I found one. This one, it's from American Eagle, and you can see the little patterns. It's a long dress. It goes right to my ankles, and it's a crisscross spaghetti strap kind of dress, and it shows a lot of cleavage. I think that you can either show a lot of leg or a lot of cleavage or arms, but not both. So this one's really long and flowy. It's really beautiful empire waist dress, and it shows a lot of cleavage and a lot of arm. And for some reason, I don't know why, but this dress reminds me of the dress that Jenny wore in Forrest Gump. I don't know why. It's very 60s, hippie-ish, and I absolutely love it. Nick picked this one up for me, and I wanted to accessorize with it and do very white. Now, keep in mind, I am a messy, filthy person. I cannot eat without wearing half of it. I'm pretty disgusting. I don't know how this happens, but it does. So I was very apprehensive about picking out white, but I just, I adore this outfit for summer. So I also bought this little scarf for a pop of color. It is beautiful, like a turquoise green, and it's really light. And I think it would be good just, you know, I can wrap around if I go somewhere where a lot of cleavage is inappropriate, or if I'm cold, you can sort of stretch it out and it's a nice little shawl. And I can sort of wrap around because I am always cold. I was seriously buying like thick jackets last July because I'm always freezing. So I'm definitely going to wear this little pop of color with it because I want to try to stick with my all white. And you guys are probably going to get a kick out of this, but I think every girl needs a cowboy hat. And I like I have a hat head. I like to buy a lot of hats. And I thought that I had the most perfect cowboy hat before Katrina. And as you can see, I have a four poster bed. So I sort of change out my hats on top of the posters. So I thought that it was also a room decoration slash perfect outfit, <laughs> perfect hat to go with this outfit. But Nick got me a cowboy hat too. I love cowboy hats. And in the summer, there's a lot to do. There's they, there's a crawfish rodeo. You can go on a beach. Everyone's always having bonfires. So I thought it was really cute. And the colors match my little scarf. And last year, I bought these sunglasses at Forever 21. What do you guys think? They remind me of the Elton John glasses. You know, like you could so see him wearing these singing Benny and the Jets right? So that's the outfit and I also have these really awesome shoes. Check these out. They're Kenneth Cole reaction and they're in kids. The fact that Kenneth Cole makes kids shoes makes me so so happy. I bought these at Dillard's and I love them. So that's my complete and total outfit for the white dress. But you see I love this dress so much so I bought the same dress again, but in black. And it gives it a totally different feel. And what I was thinking was how I could switch this up is play it down with a different hat. So I bought this hat at Forever 21. And I like that it's sort of a light cream color, which you can sort of wear with black or brown. But since the little ribbon around it, 
is black, I can wear it with my long black dress. So I really like it. And what I want to do is I want to do like little pigtail braids and wear this out. I think that would be really, really fun. And then I realized that I don't own any black sandals. How I don't own black sandals, I don't know, but I didn't. And since it is such a pain in the butt for me to try to find shoes that fit me, I wandered into Justice, formerly known as Limited 2. Keep in mind, I haven't shopped there since it was Limited 2. And I found these little flip-flops, but they're sparkly black, so it's feminine enough. And I really like them. They were eight bucks. Seriously, eight bucks for the perfect little black flip-flops. So I'm very, very excited about these. And of course, it's the summer, so everyone needs a perfect summer fragrance. And for some crazy reason, I have been obsessed with green apple smell. I went to Ulta and I bought this big, huge thing of like body wash. It's called Apple Teeny. I'm obsessed with it, but I really wanted some sort of fragrance that was apple, and I found it. I got DKNY Be Delicious. I love, love, love the way that it smells. Just reminds me of summer and being on the beach. The only thing that I kind of dislike about this is that it doesn't stay on my skin. If I spray it on my clothes, I can pick it up later and smell it, but on my skin, I'll smell myself later on, and I don't smell it. So I don't love this as much as I love my Dior, but I love this fragrance for just, you know, going out of the house and shh, shh, and smelling great. But it's also summer, and I wanted the perfect summer bikini, and I wanted something different. You see a lot of the same, the same old, same old on the beach, so I wanted something very eye-catching and very different, and I'm... In the summer, I live in the sun, so I went to Dillard's, and I found the most awesome bikini ever. Here's the top. It's a Betsy Johnson and it reminds me of the 1950s. I just love this. It's black and white and this strap is adjustable so you can have it is just strapless or you can have the little strap. I think the little strap makes it super feminine and cute and what makes it even more feminine and beautiful is the bottom. The bottom is a little skirt and I love that I don't ever wear like short short skirts. I'd much rather show off cleavage than leg. So I love how it's a super short skirt. It looks very 1950s, 1960s pinup girl. And if I wear them with my white shades, I think it's going to be so cute for summer. It was a little pricey. It was $200. It was $100 for the top, $100 for the bottom. But I just, I love this bikini. And I am going to probably have this under everything all summer. I'm so excited. And since I'm doing a complete outfit day, afternoon, swimming. We also want to include some nightwear, right? So I went to Victoria's Secret. I've been in the market for a really cute sleep shirt for a while and I found one. It says love pink and it's v-neck. So what I think is really cute is I pair this with, if you can see right there, the little outline is purple. I have a really cute purple sports bra and I put my little purple sports bra right underneath so you get that pop of purple color right under it so i really really love this to sleep in it is so incredibly soft so there's your complete look day afternoon and night i really really want a video response from you guys i want to see what is your ideal perfect summer outfit so please send me a video response and don't forget i have a vlog channel where I just talk and feature my friends. So check out my vlog channel. My username is Fleur de Brie, like Fleur de Lee, but me. <laughs> so check that out. Please send a video response, or if you are a fan of my Facebook page, just search on Facebook, My Red Solara, and I'll pop up, and you guys can send me pictures of things while you go shopping. I love that. So many people have been sending me pictures. Oh, Brie, you have to check this out. Buy this. So send me pictures, send me a video response, and again, thank you, thank you for watching. Bye!